Hi everyone, welcome back to online classroom Jekutio. In this video, we are going to look at um, a topic that is a little bit sad. Why? Because we are going to look at how a star dies. If a star can be born, it can also die. But how, how does that happen? In a star, we all know that a lot of heat and light energy is generated. And this heat energy actually heat up the outermost layer of the star. That means the hydrogen in this layer will start to burn. Eventually, the hydrogen will burn up. And this will cause the star to expand. It becomes even bigger. And in this stage, the star will actually become red in color and it is very big compared to the original state and it is called the red giant. If the red giant is not massive, meaning it is big but not too big, then a white dwarf will be formed. What if it is very big? It will actually suddenly contract very quickly, meaning it will shrink, it will become smaller very quickly and then explode. This is a very big explosion and it has a name. We call it the supernova. Supernova is very bright. It is so bright that you can even see it during daylight. After supernova, what happened? If the original star is large, then a neutron star will be formed after supernova. But if the original star is not only large but super large, no neutron star will be formed but a black hole will start to form. Why is it called a black hole? Because it is such a strong pull that nothing will escape from it, not even the light. That's why it's, it's black. Imagine in your room, if you have such strong pull, such a strong force that you can pull in all the light, how strong can that, can that force be? That is actually a black hole. Black hole has a lot of mystery. So we have learned about the whole life cycle of a star in this two video, the birth of star and the death of star. Let's look at this uh, summary here. So please recall how is a star formed? It is formed from nebula. What is nebula? Nebula is a cloud, consists of dust particles, hydrogen, and helium. And then a strong gravitational will pull it in. It becomes a ball of gas called the globe. It continues to shrink because the gravitational pull becomes stronger and stronger. And eventually, there was an explosion or there is a nuclear reaction that causes it to start to shine. When it starts shining, that is when a star is born. It can be a medium size, a large size, or a super large size star. If it is a medium star, what happens next as it continues to expand and the hydrogen is used up is that it will start to form a red giant. And after red giant, there's no explosion, it just starts to turn into a white dwarf. How about if it is a large or super large star? The red giant will keep expanding until they are so big that they are called a super giant. And after the super giant, they will shrink so quickly that it suddenly explodes. A huge explosion happens, and that is the supernova. And uh, depending on the original size, if it is a large star, then after the supernova, a neutron star is formed. If it is a super large star, then after the supernova, what is formed next is a black hole. That is a full life cycle of a star. That's all from Jekutio in this video. We have covered all the topics in chapter 11. I love studying about chapter 11 because I love looking at the stars. They're so beautiful. How about you leave in the comment section and let Jekutio know what is your favorite topic in this chapter. I shall see you in the next video. Bye! If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.